So I've been I've been removing these staples around the edge with a knife, and um, to to undo the canvas on the the frame, and I cut through my finger. It, it really hurts. I've got the frame taken out, and I've cut my fabric to the right size. Um, so the plan is that this will sort of fold around here like that and staple on um, and then but I have to make sure the screen is really pulled tight then I'm going to staple one side and then just pull that side as much as I can and then staple that side and then pull this side as much as I can staple that side pull that side as much as I can staple that side but I'm only going to put like three staples and then if it's not loose if it's too loose with the middle then I'll um, then I'll go back to the original side and redo it to um, mix the photo emulsion, um, which is obviously a chemical. So uh, I'm wearing an apron, as a Paddington Bear apron, and that, um, I'm nude underneath, so secret. But um, <laughs> but I've got this, um, it's a slate, um, it's a big chunk of marble, which is what I've chosen to do it on, I don't know why, it doesn't matter. But um, also this is actually the inside of the, um, the canvas, which I'm gonna use as basically a backdrop to the screen. Um, just to make sure that, that nothing goes on there. Now, um, you have to do this in the dark, which is the tricky part, and also means that I won't be able to GoPro it. But, quite simply, I'm gonna fill this half full with water, open that, pour it in there, stir it round, and um, that should be that. Just mixed the um, sensitizer in the emulsion, um, and it looks good and it's in a cupboard, this little drawer just here in the dark because it has to stay in the dark for one to two hours. Um, check this out, this is the stick I was using to stir it so I've like scraped away each side so that's um, what the mixture looks like, that blue stuff, that's one of the mixtures, the yellow one, I dripped a bit on there and one of them I think was green and um, no one of them was, yeah green, oh no one of them was a blue, that's the original or another one of the one in the pot and so together they make this sort of green colour so it's a bit of that, and a bit of that, and it's green. Um, yeah, maybe I should have stirred it for longer, that's my only concern. But, um, oh well, it's in there now, we'll see what happens. And then, when I've done that, it's time to get this bad boy and coat it in emulsion so that we'll be ready to screen print. This is just a part of an old pen. Almost two o'clock, it's about quarter to two, so in about one, an hour and a half, I'm going to get that. I've killed like two hours, um, and so it's ready to get out. Um, obviously, I again cannot show you um, because as soon as I open the pot, it's gonna get exposed to light. But the basic plan is to spread it all across there, turn it over, spread it all across there. But oh no, hang on, I've missed a step. It's on those bits and bobs drawers, so everyone's gone. I've got to go with this tape around the edges so that it doesn't like get onto the wood or something. I'm not really sure why, but that's what you do. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> um, right, let's time lapse. screen and emulsion it's actually hours later now um packed all the kit away um but um oh my god look how late it is now it's um about almost it's getting on half five um so i've basically been up all night doing this it was so much more messy than i thought it would be so if you're going to do this be prepared for a lot of mess um so i've had to you know sanction a scowl and um and a dishcloth specifically for this now because i got um chemical all over them <laughs> so yeah and this is probably going to be just for this now because it's got that all over it this is my dark room now this oven so the top of it's still available if you want to use it the bottom oven is not my dark room do not open this is a dark room if you open this even for a second you ruin it and i will kill you you thought it was then, didn't you? Oh, uh, it didn't. 